This is James Helder for IFL TV. I'm in Northern Ireland in Belfast today. I've just bumped into young prospect Tommy McCarthy. What's happening, Tom? Now the lad just came down for the um, Steve Bunt's quest and answering just to yeah. uh, show my face and support my two friends, Michael Cannon and Paddy Barnes. So. What did you make of Steve Bunt's? Was he on form today? He's always on form. He's entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Like, as soon as he's on the microphone, he's just a big personality. He gets a crowd going on it, so yeah, enjoyed it. Now, I'm going to ask you the most important question ever. What are we having to eat? Uh, what's on the firm? What, what's good here? What? To be honest, um, I've never read in here before. <laughs> you've brought me to a place you've never eaten. I've never read in here on? before. Um, this isn't really... Uh, see, I'm from West Belfast, and this okay. is... I didn't even know this restaurant was here, to be honest. <laughs> You've got to understand, to me, Belfast is Belfast. Yeah, Belfast is Belfast. I'm just so kind of learning. This is the city centre, and I don't really eat out in it. If I'm eating in the city centre, it's usually one of the rib joints. Or something, or yeah, Nando's or yeah, something. Yeah, Nando's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's been happening with your professional career? You've had a fantastic amateur career. There's rumours that you was going to Boston to fight in America, along with quite a few Irish boxers have been going that mm. route of late. Couldn't you tell me what's going on, what's been happening? Well, um, basically, it's a long, it's a, a bit of a rigmarole, a bit of a rigmarole. Um, I, I signed in January with uh, a company, um, with, it's the same company that John Joe Nevin, Tom McKenna, and Nicky Ketty, Raymond Gindley signed us. So uh, I thought they promised me the, all big things, loads of money, and we're going to do this and that, and we're going to work the Aries crowd in America, and all this stuff. And, um, it just, it, things just didn't work out. Uh, it was a lot of uh, false or empty promises and a lot of just messing me around and I didn't feel like I was getting the treatment that I deserve. And so uh, I got out of that contract and it, it's not as if it was, it was hard to get out of the contract. They breached the contract from really the, from the minute I signed it and now I'm gonna, uh, I've sorted a, a new thing. I'm gonna move forward and um, Pat McGee is going to be my manager and we're going to stay here in Ireland and the UK and Did you try and Brian, train Brian McGee? Yeah, no, he managed Brian McGee, yeah, they're no relation but yeah. like he's tried and true with Brian, took Brian through, I think Brian's won European or British European Commonwealth and World Title so you know, I'm hoping to emulate it. Your amateur success is very good, recently the amateurs changed the scoring of the amateurs, yeah. what do you make of that? To be honest I loved it because um, the way my style came, like in, in Irish boxing, I've been part of the Irish team from the schoolboy, from I was a schoolboy boxer, and um, when you get this senior level, obviously hang scenes, but it's all, when the point system, it was all intensity, uh, loads of fainting and trying to score points, score points, but then when the, the scoring changed this year, head guards and all of, it was more like the whoever was the most skillful boxer was gonna win, so it suited me more because I've got a lot of skills and I can punch hard and I felt that your skills and your punch power was too good of the equation with the points going because you're trying to hit and run, hit and run, whereas this you can sit down and, and bang. I've noticed before a lot of the boys used to lean with their head a lot, come in with their heads. Now there's mm. no head guards, you're seeing cuts galore yeah. and people changing their styles a little bit, yeah. aren't they? Well, I mean, you have to, you have to adapt with the system. Um, fortunately, I've never... I, well, I've, I've had one cut, that was when I was in the um, WSB, but <laughs> I was tired. I, I took the fight at like two weeks notice, fighting the number one in the world, and I, I was so tired, and um, I was just trying to headbutt him, so I tried to headbutt him and cut myself, <laughs> so <laughs> well, I didn't even care because I was tired, I was loving it. <laughs> world Series of Boxing, good platform for yourself to showcase your skills. Quite a few Irish boys have gone that kind of route, haven't yeah. they? Well, it's it's a good it's a good thing to be involved with, but um, it has its downsides as well. But it's it's exciting and it gives you a taste of the glitz and glam of, of being in a in a um, professional scene. Under the impression you'll be working with Pat McGee, would that mean bulk of your stuff will be in Belfast? Oh yeah, I'm gonna stay in Belfast um, at the start anyway for the time being. I won't make any changes until we get the ball rolling and I'll see what kind of things I need to work on and. But at the start, I'm gonna stay here because you know I've got a family here. We got a girl, a fiance, and two daughters. So it's tough being away from them. And throughout my whole amateur career, I've been away, being in the Aries team. We were in Dublin Tuesday to Friday. So um, I wanna be home for a while. 
being a young prospect with a young family, how important is it to you that you succeed in your boxing career? Um, you know, the, the, your family does inspire you, your kids do inspire you because you want to you wanna win for them. And like, it, used to, it used to pay me when I was come, when I, if I lost and I came home and the kids used to, my daughter used to say, uh, Daddy, where's your medal? Uh, did you lose? And the kids are they're so innocent, so they're just ruthless. Uh, did you lose? <laughs> and it's just thank God it wasn't that many times. But so the kids are inspired. But that boxing has just uh, been a part of my life from when I was 12 years old, and I've had an ambition. So even if I didn't have kids, I would still have the drive. And my ambition is to be a world champion. So it's not the kids don't uh, add any more or less. As well as having no Irish support, a lot of people should be aware that you was actually born in England. You actually uh, spent a little bit of your early life in Tottenham, didn't you? Yeah, well, I was born in London, but uh, I've never regarded myself as English, and I was never brought up as English. So, because mm -hmm. like my my daddy, he's a Belfast man, and uh, he was in London, and he met my mummy and they conceived me. So I spent the early the early bit of my life in London. But I was always, I've always been an Irish boy and I've never felt any allegiance to England or anything. Massive bill at the moment, Frampton versus Hugo Canizares. Yeah. How do you see that fight playing out at the Odyssey tomorrow night? Well, you know, Carl, Carl's a friend of mine and um, and I'm gonna, people may say I'm biased, but it's, pre, it's not biased, it's just pure intelligence. Carl is gonna beat him and beat him well. I mean, at the weigh-in, Today, he saw Carl was ripped to shreds, he's in great shape. He looked the, fantastic. Yeah, he? he looked brilliant. And the, uh, the Mexican fellow, he looked in okay shape, but he didn't look in any, and like he prepared as well as Carl. So Carl's going to do the business, and the next one will be the world title, touch wood, and, and he'll, he'll be world champion. Can you describe to me how big Carl Frampton is in Ireland and Belfast at the moment? Um, <laughs> well, in, in Belfast, in Belfast, he is household name. I mean, uh, he got married there not that long ago and it was on the front page of all the papers. Like, yeah. yeah. And uh, so in Belfast, he really is big. And in the Irish, Irish boxing community, up and down the, in the whole island of Ireland, he's uh, really big. I think in Northern Ireland, he's really popular. But down south, people would know him, but I don't think his popularity is as big as he is here. Like if you walk around, we're in the town here. If you want to go shopping or want to go to Nando's or something, he would just get tortured. So. Yeah, so you'll be making your pro debut in May, all, thing, all things going well, and fighting at Cruiserweight, Tommy. Yeah, I'm gonna start off with Cruiserweight because I've been boxing uh, at 91 kilos for the last three years, and 91 kilos is more or less the same in pro. I think mm -hmm. in kilos it's 90.6 or something Not in the professional. So, um, that's my weight where I feel comfortable and I just really want to use uh, David Hay as the template come in uh, as a cruiserweight you know if I had a cruiserweight division and go, on, go up the heavyweight and then you're already a name you can fight you don't have to waste your time fighting like fat agents you're in there and you're at the worst head <laughs> make some money and hopefully I retire with my health and some money in the bank what weight do you walk about at now? What would you be your, your everyday weight? Everyday weight, I'm, I say around like 15, 15 and a half stone. So it's, it's not it's not that uh, it's not that tough when I get in the full training to get the weight down yeah. and when I'm eating properly. But I've seen like a lot of cruiser weights um, are like like 13 stone 10 you know, or 14 stone, 14 one at the weigh-in. So I'd be coming in bang on when, at the, at the weigh-ins. I find it really interesting, five, six years from now, we're going to sit down and watch this interview and have a look at your ambitions and goals and see yeah. where you are, Tommy. You know? Yeah, it'll be see good. Hopefully, are, and my dreads will be down my back, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to thank you for giving me a bit of time yeah, today. No As problem. I said, hopefully we get to get you on the channel a bit more and I'll be following yeah. your career and listening to that from there. Yeah, you know? definitely. Thanks for giving me a bit of time, Tommy, yeah, mate. No problem. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Yep, thanks. Thank you.